Hello, Vineyard family and friends. Uh, we all know that the world is going mad at the moment. The COVID-19 virus is called a global pandemic. Citizens of our world, our country and our cities are filled with anxiety. People are scared. And in all my days, I never thought we'd be living in a time like this. But this has become our new reality. But it's not going to last forever. So let's not lose sight of what the Bible says. As Jesus followers, we are citizens of heaven and we are citizens of God's kingdom, over which Jesus Christ rules and reigns with His grace and peace. And that means for each Jesus follower that we are filled with His grace, His love, His power, His presence, the promises of His word, His hope. So this is the truth. This is our new reality. His kingdom come. The Bible says, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need. Thank Him for all He has done. And then you will experience the peace of God, which exceeds anything you can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and your minds as you live in Christ. And then it says this, one thing I want to say, one more final thing. Fix your thoughts on what is true, on what is honorable, what is right, what is pure, what is lovely, and what's admirable. Think about the things that are excellent and worthy of praise. We have to stay the line. The government has advised us in this time that there shouldn't be any gatherings of a hundred people in one place at any one time and that we should, we should practice social distancing. And since we're a church that's over a hundred, we are faced with a challenge. The challenge is this, but we want to turn it into an opportunity of God's kingdom advancing in us, through us, and among us. This is the challenge. The challenge is we are going to meet, but we're going to meet differently. We want to take the government requirements on a month-to-month -month basis. So for the time being, we will not be meeting on Sundays at the warehouse, but we will be having church in your home, on Sunday mornings at 9 a.m. via a live stream video. Fancy, eh? And we're going to start this Sunday. We are going to be live streaming into your home, 9 a.m. And we're going to be talking about experiencing God's peace in troubled and anxious times. We'll also be having something very fun and exciting for our kids. So kids, you've got to watch out for this. And watch out for stuff during the week. The government has put a little other extras in for us. Um, they do allow people to meet in small groups. So if you want to, no pressure, if you want to gather together on Sunday to watch the live stream with friends and family, you can go ahead. But please remember to practice health and safety steps that the government department and the World Health Organization have recommended. If things change, we're going to follow suit. In the meantime, we need to be care smart. That means wash your hands for 20 seconds and use that 20 seconds to pray or to talk to somebody. Uh, use the Corona greet when you're going to greet somebody. Don't be stubborn. Do the right thing. And if you are showing signs of the coronavirus in your life, be smart. Stay at home. Call your healthcare specialist, speak to somebody close to you, and please talk to us so we can pray for you and we can care. As a church, we are a network of families right throughout the city. So let's make this work for us. Let's be smart. Um, we know church isn't a building we go to. We know that church is a family we belong to. So we want to use this time as an opportunity to deepen our relationship with Jesus. This is a great time to chill out, to quieten down, to listen to the Lord, to pray, to pray for one another, to pray for the government, to pray for whatever you want to do. This is also a wonderful opportunity for us to strengthen our relationships with one another, to, to grow our friendships, to, to creatively stay in contact and connected together. This is also an opportunity for us to show mercy, to care for the elderly, to care for the fragile, to, to care for those who are vulnerable. This is an opportunity for us to demonstrate God's love to the world around us in extravagant uh, acts of kindness. So I'm asking us as a church 
to be church in a time like this, to be a family of faith that prays regularly. So keep praying. Use your spiritual gifts. Be smart. Use your spiritual gifts. Serve one another. But be smart. Serve one another. Love those around you. Love your neighbors. Just remember, be smart in what you do. Be creative. And then also let me just say this. Please keep giving. Give your tithes and your offerings and, and give your seed money so that we as a church, a church, can be effective for God in these times. So Vineyard family, um, these are weird times. These are good times. These are great times of opportunity. Let's stand together. Let's, let's let the Holy Spirit lead us. Let's let Him shape us in a time like this. We love you and we'll be speaking to you soon. Ciao.